What's up, YouTube fam? You see the look on my face. You see that smile. You know I've been up to something. <laughs> oh, man. Late for work sent me this package. <clears throat> 13. It came in 13 days ago. What I mean by been up to something is just something that Jason from Late for Work, he just texted me messing with Kim. I just, I, I mean, I'm not gonna say what it is. I mean, it's, it's just, it's just an inside thing. It was funny, uh, but that's why I can't stop chuckling. I thought about even, he's even what did you say? She's seriously the. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. So I'm trying not to show everybody's address here, but uh, <clears throat> this, I mean, a lot of y'all already got our addresses, but just in case of the weirdos out there, you know. But he sent me this. It came in. That's the funniest part of this is the story behind it. He's been jonesing for me to get this package, and I've been jonesing to get it, right? Poor guy, man. The U.S. Postal Service sucks, guys. You know, we just moved to Houston. I had to send to the, the business that we bought. It was the first thing I've ever had sent there. No one's ever had this problem before. Until I come on the scene. Of course. Okay, so he sends it. He says, hey man, did you get it? What you think? I said, man, I'm back, I'm back in Louisiana right now. I have to wait till." He said, we hope it's not sitting outside. And I'm like, oh, jeez. So I call in. I said, hey, dude, I got a package. Don't let it sit in the mailbox. No, nothing. They bring it in. What's up? You know? No, nothing. Nothing for you. So, wow, it shows it's delivered. We checked. And... Went to the post office, back and forth. The postmaster even came out looking for it. Couldn't find it. Turns out, there's an old black box. An old black box at the end of the rope mailbox. They haven't received mail in this thing in years, according to the uh, the landlord of the shopping mall, where, which we uh, 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 um, purchased seed. <laughs> And that that we um we have acquired for the business, you know, a lease. And we got in touch with him and he says, Man, I hadn't opened that. I don't even know where the key is. We haven't opened that thing in years. Nothing goes in there. Here's the kicker. It just so happens that on this particular day that this particular parcel was to arrive, we had a substitute mail person. Mail woman, male man, I don't know. Who cares at this point? It's a male somebody. And they didn't know what they're doing. And they stuck all the mail in this box. And guess what? This box is not a typical mailbox. Grab your shit and go. No. It's one of those kind you lift the thing, drop things in all day long. But to retrieve it, you got to have the freaking key that opens the door at the bottom of it. So the landlord, he was out of town. I have to look when I come in. We got temperatures here in Texas over 100 degrees. This is 13 days sitting in a black mailbox. Everybody knows how black attracts heat in this little black steel container. Direct sunlight at the end of the road, pounding on it for 13, almost two, right at two weeks. And guess what's in said parcel? Chocolates. Oh, but it's okay. It's okay. They're in one of those protective sleeves that uh, protect against the heat. We're dying to get into this. It's supposed to be some chocolate hot that they made some skulls. I don't bet it's skulls anymore. If it is, they are angry. They ain't angry. They are angry. Yeah! Mm -hmm. So, let's dig off into this. We've been anxious to see what these little guys have turned into. Help me, Tony, help me. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. You, 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 you. All right. What do you got here? Hey, the blue note. Oh, it's got one. I don't even want to open it because it's so, look at there. It got the stamp and everything. I've never gotten one of those. Now I don't want to open it. This is obviously for two spoons. Tony, the Man, he's awesome. Thank you, guys. Ah, what I will do is get a knife. I wish I had one of them uh, scissors. I wish I had one of them folding swords like Elwood's got. I don't have a folding sword, so 
I'm just gonna break this thing apart like this. I've been wanting to order one of them folding swads. Okay, so scissors ain't really choice for this. Is it a condom? Is it some kind of prevention? Um, Tony, thanks for your continued support and friendship. I hope this little gift brings you tingles in your lower regions because I've been thinking... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this gift tingles your tongue. Uh, expect more down the, down the line. We have great things planned. You will be first to know. Jason, late for work. Thank you, brother. I'm going to keep this. Well, here is that NASA approved. Okay, I can see why they wanted me to get all this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to the top. What we got here? Rule, oh, we got rules and everything. Well, dang, dang, dang. Scorcher Torture 2.0. I've been hearing so much about this. Y'all must be the one who made this stuff. I don't, what's this? Hold on. <laughs> dang, boy. Sending me some gloves. All right. Protection. Safety third. Uh, waiver and release of liability. <laughs> well, considering... I, I got to look at the condition of this. I'm pretty sure it's not in the condition he sent it. So I don't, and by the time it's been in there, I don't think we want to actually eat it at this point. But let's, uh, let's go with it there. Oh, man, a cool little, look at this. What? Ain't that awesome. If these are in good condition, I, I'm not going to believe they are, but if they are, dude, right, bro, check it out. They are not melted. I shit you not. Is that all of them? No, there's more. But wait, there's more. Oh, this one got a little, but not too bad. Should I eat this at this point? Would this be safe to eat? Oh, uh, look. They didn't exactly melt. How did they not melt? This is a freaking awesome, awesome container. That's all I got to say. What? I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to... I'm going to talk to Jason and see if what he thinks. He made them. You know, they made them... They ought to know whether I could eat these or not. And I'll go over the rules real carefully. I'm going to put these back in. I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. Because I ain't prepped for no challenge. I, I was not expecting these to... Oh. Right, I'm going to keep all that separate. I don't need them in the bag right now. Wow. Okay, guys. We're going to cut this video right there because there's nothing to see here. <laughs> so...